We're going to Target. I decided that I needed a day to come to Target and do some self-care. You got me fucked up if you think I'm gonna walk into Target with no headphones on. Could not be me, bitch. I hide behind these. Nobody's talking to me. Nobody. Come on, let's go. I wasn't gonna speak in public in front of a camera in one of the busiest targets ever, so you're getting voiceover, Gabby. Every time I go out, I'm always gonna get something for my dogs, okay? Don't worry, because I'm gonna explain everything that I bought in a little bit later on in this video. And bro, I don't know what it is about Target, but you walk in there and it's, it's just like, look at me, I'm already getting distracted. This was video proof of me getting one thing and getting distracted by something else and immediately going to purchase it. Target has us under some spell. I don't know what it is, but I know it to be true. It's way too hot. Thumbnail. I'm gonna keep this short and sweet since you basically just saw me shop for everything. Rug grippers. Cotton pads, right? That's what this is called? Cotton rounds. A hair mask. A hair oil. Placemats to eat dinner on. A new shampoo and conditioner. A new kitchen mat that I think is really cute. And some new flowers because mine are dead. As you can see, the hair is doing bad. So I bought a whole bunch I got a whole bunch of new products here to hopefully take care of my hair a little background right I have don't even look at my acne please okay I just got a very intense extraction facial so I'm gonna be scarring for a little bit don't even talk about it anyways I always thought that I had dandruff I do not have dandruff I have dry scalp, okay? I, I have all, all these little like flakes that come out of my hair. Like if I start doing this shit right now, flakes, flakes everywhere. Um, but they're really, really small flakes. Yeah, okay, so with dandruff, it's because you have way too much oil. So you get like these real fat ass flakes of oil that start coming off. That's dandruff. Dry scalp is just really itty bitty bitty little tiny little little dust dusties that fall out of your hair because your hair is so dry that's what i have i heard that oiling your scalp is the way to fucking go okay i'm trying not to curse as much in my videos because i want to be a lady i did my research and the tiktok girlies and google <laughs> said that this one was really good they said that this one was the shit rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil my hairbrush is really dirty. Let me go clean it. <laughs> clean. I've always brushed from like my ends to the root because that's what I've always known to be healthy for you. And I'm just gonna go, I don't know if I should shake it. Should I shake it? Just like that. And I'm especially gonna put it like right here because that's where I get really dry. Okay, I think I'm done. And now I'm gonna take one of these. It's uh, one of them scalp low brushes. I'm just gonna start massaging this. It's supposed to exfoliate your hair, promote um, stimulation for healthy hair growth, and it's supposed to moisturize your scalp. I don't know for how long I should really be massaging this for. My hair literally will change textures. like. I have had every single type of hair known at one point. Like, I popped out as a baby with really coily, curly hair. Then, as a toddler and youngin, like, from, like, when I was a toddler till I was probably, like, six or seven, I had straight hair, like, pin straight hair. Like, my hair just decided to turn straight f because it wanted to. And then it was really frizzy, so that when I was an adolescent, I decided to do keratin or something like a keratin because it was so frizzy and then my parents told me not to do it because it was going to damage my hair even more 
or it was gonna damage my hair but I didn't listen and I wanted to do it so they're like fuck it she'll learn her lesson I did it three times and it burned all my hair off it didn't burn it off it burned all my hair and I've been struggling with that ever since I was a little adolescent and then about like three four years ago my hair got really curly again like it was super curly and then now it's like wavy like it's it, it's wanting to be straight again and you know what I have a feeling it's because of birth control <laughs> Oh, that felt great. And I'm gonna let this sit and I'm just gonna do some work. I'm gonna give it like 20-30 minutes Because I also heard that if you put oil on for too long Your hair will fall out like it's really good for you, but if you leave it on for too much, it's extremely bad for you, so I Haven't done that much research to know how long I'm just gonna leave it on for like 20 minutes I just took a shower. I did the whole nine yards with my hair. I'm gonna show you what I used. Hold on. This is also a microfiber towel that I have up on my head right now. This is the shampoo and conditioner I use. So I have never in my life tried this brand before. Raw sugar. It did say it was free of sulfates. Look, it says free of sulfates, parabens, and silicones. Color safe and it's vegan and cruelty free. Come on now. I also use their hair mask. It's supposed to tame frizz and help soften. So we're gonna see about that right now. Those are the products that I used in the shower. So I'm brushing up and away from my scalp because when your hair dries, that's gonna create ugh, more volume. It makes sense. If you brush it down, it's gonna flatten up against your, your head. You don't want that. You want the volume. Miracle, it's a 10. This will forever be the hardest bottle to spray, ever. Like that spray bottle, I use all of my force to get that spray bottle to work. So I have really, really dry hair, very dry hair, and it does not hold in moisture at all, like at all. So I have to level up my moisture here. So I'm going to put Olaplex number six with this hair oil that has hair all over it this hair oil from Rizos curls I think the only reason why I mix them is so that I could do two steps in one that's the only thing I can come up with because I'm just lazy like that all right now I'm gonna take honestly okay this is the only Shea Moisture product I'm gonna use I have been seeing that Shea Moisture is actually so bad for you. I don't even know what to believe. This used to be the best fucking thing ever. Now I don't know what to believe. Okay, but I'm still going to use this. It's the Curl Mousse. This honestly feels like water. I'm going to go back with my towel and I'm just going to... This is a microfiber towel. Okay? Okay? And I'm just going to scrunch a bit. I don't have a Dyson. I have a regular ass hair dryer. Dyson, I'm up for a sponsor. I'm up for a gifting here, okay? My DMs are open, Dyson, okay? I'll take it. Even though my hair is still a little frizzy, I think my hair is just always gonna be a little frizzy. Here's the back. Let me show you the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the first time I actually take care of my hair this year. That's probably why my hair has been looking so bad. I mean, yeah, I feel like slowly but surely I'll get my natural hair back. Right now we're working with these waves. I also want my hair to grow really long. Like, I want my hair to be, like, to my hips long. I was thinking about putting in hair, hair extensions. Comment if I should get hair extensions down to my ass crack. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in my next video.